day 12 of Pittsburgh Steelers training camp in the books. And well, I think we've come down to the nitty gritty, the we're ready for games. And I think what's going to excite Steelers fans the most about this offense is not going to be Kendrick Green playing fullback or Connor Hayward throwing passes or Kenny Pickett being Kenny Pickett. It's going to be three guys that just look like they mesh so perfectly together. What's going on, everybody? I'm Noah Strackbine. Thank you for jumping on to Steelers To Go, your daily to-go cup of Pittsburgh Steelers news and analysis live from St. Vincent College, recapping day 12 of Steelers training camp. Find us on youtube.com slash all Steelers talkers. Subscribe anywhere you get your podcast today. Let's talk about three names that I believe are going to be a complete game changer for the Steelers offense that are going to give them the exact spark that they have been waiting for for years now. We have talked about the Steelers offense for a while, and it has always been the same thing, at least for the last two, maybe three years. If we're being honest, maybe since Antonio Brown has walked out these doors last, that the Steelers offense has no spark, no flash, no pizzazz, if you will, that they are a group of move the ball meticulously, a little bit boring, do what you need to do to get first downs, don't really challenge a defense. And it's way more than deep balls. It's way more than crossing routes. It's way more than speed. The Steelers have just been a team that haven't been able to make a big play happen and break a defense open like they need to if they're going to succeed. And that was their game plan coming in here is this offseason they needed to build the puzzle and create the pieces that will allow them to be an offense that could not only control a game and control the tempo of a defense, but also allow them to break open a defense, control a secondary, and ultimately make big plays when big plays need to be made. And even if bare minimum, the Steelers don't have a quarterback that is able to throw the ball 60 yards, which I know everybody gets on my back about that one, but at times it's true. And even if that holds them back a little bit. Even if the running game isn't always there or the offensive line does struggle from times, I believe the Steelers have three names that have shown me so much at training camp that I believe that they're going to be able to make big things happen even if everything else isn't working. Those three names are Deontay Johnson, George Pickens, and Allen Robinson. The wide receiver trio that Steelers fans hoped would turn into big names once they got here and once we headed to Latrobe, but there were questions. I think coming in, the big three was Deontay Johnson, George Pickens, and Calvin Austin. People expected those three to be all flash, make big plays, lead the Steelers wide receiver core. Today, we sit here and I could say definitively, Deontay Johnson is still the most open receiver on this team and seemingly only gets better by the day. He worked with Steve Smith a little bit on the sidelines today, and Steve, from what I heard, had nothing bad to say. It was always, yeah, just do this a little bit more and you'll be even more wide open. It hit a point where most of the practice, Patrick Peterson was chasing Deontay Johnson, was never able to stay on him. Whether that was a crossing route, a comeback route, an over the middle, a deep ball, didn't matter. Deontay was always at least a step ahead of the flashy vet who has had a very nice training camp. George Pickens is George Pickens, and not to pick on Patrick Peterson here, but he had a catch that Patrick Peterson had perfect coverage on. There was one place that this ball could have landed, and Kenny Pickett threw it. It was in the corner of the end zone and seven shots. George Pickens is falling down. Patrick Peterson is falling on top of him. There is no way for him to make this catch, and George somehow comes down with it. If it was caught on video, which maybe it was, it will or it should go viral. Ridiculous catch. In my opinion, close second to the Joey Porter catch. Pretty easy, actually. And then there's Allen Robinson, who you knew was going to be the Steelers' starting slot guy, but you also thought that Calvin Austin would be the breakout star, the guy that stole the show because last year at this time, he was. He was that guy. He was making explosive plays. People were very excited about his potential. We thought Calvin Austin was an it factor. And I think that he still is an it factor, but Allen Robinson is consistently good. He is consistently open. If you are not a starter, you cannot contain this guy. 
I've watched him beat James Pierre, Chandon Sullivan, Elijah Riley, Luke Barku, Madre Harper, you name it, he's beat it. On the starters, he's beat Joey Porter Jr. He's beat Levi Wallace. He's beat Patrick Peterson. He's challenged guys in the slot. Allen Robinson, every single day, has won the day. Every day that he's practiced, at least, has won the day. And that's huge because Kenny needs a reliable underneath option. And Allen Robinson very much so appears to be that reliable underneath option that he's going to rely on all the time. And if the Steelers offense could walk into the season right now, and I just talked to Gunnar Olszewski, who told me this wide receiver group is deep and everybody here can contribute and everybody here has talent. And I think that's true. You look at guys, Hakeem Butler is Hakeem Butler. And I don't think Hakeem Butler has necessarily played the greatest here at training camp, but he's still a 6'5 giant who lit up the XFL and on a good day can have a really good day. Des Fitzpatrick was a name that coming in here was a name to watch because he blew up minicamp and made a name for himself rather quickly and has had good plays here at training camp. You have Calvin Austin, who is electric and is challenging himself. And Mike Tomlin is challenging challenging him, and he's succeeding. Calvin Austin is most certainly going to be a part of the Steelers' offense and possibly a big part to the Steelers' offense in 2023. And then you have the big three. You have Allen Robinson. You have George Pickens. You have Deontay Johnson. So think about it through Kenny Pickens' lens. Think about what's going to happen this year. You look at Kenny Pickett and you say, okay, year two, expectations are very high. Pressure is even higher. I have to succeed. I have to find ways for this team to make it back into the postseason for us to compete for the AFC North and for us to win to win, to win much easier than they won last year. How do you do so? You have to have a strong running game. I think that starts everything. You have to be able to rely on Najee Harris and Jalen Warren and Anthony McFarlane and whoever's leading them through the hole, and I hope that's Kendrick Green and the offensive line creating those holes, obviously. You have to rely on Kenny Pickett to not turn the ball over, and he has to rely on himself not to turn the ball over and to keep games in the Steelers' control, which is huge. But he also has to go out and beat teams like the Kansas City Chiefs and and the AFC, probably the New York Jets and the Buffalo Bills and the Baltimore Ravens and the Cincinnati Bengals and possibly the Cleveland Browns if they're good or any team along those lines that could put up a bunch of points that could run into the Steelers in the postseason. That is the Steelers mindset. If you're shooting for the top, you have to beat the top. You have to score points to do so. Okay, so how do you compete with the Patrick Mahomes? How do you compete with the Josh Allens or the Lamar Jacksons or the Joe Burrows or the Aaron Rodgers? Well, if you're Kenny Pickett, you can continue to do what you do, and that's winning clutch moments. Be Kenny Pickett. Be a winner. Before that, prior to those big moments, what you do is you rely on the talent around you. And the Steelers have an abundance of talent at the wide receiver position just in those three guys. You could always rely on Deontay Johnson to be open on the sideline. And if that rhythm gets better, which it seemingly has, then everything is just going to mesh and click a little bit more. Those receptions are going to become easier and easier. You need a big play? Well, George Pickens is working on that big play capability to catch and take it 60 yards. But at the same time, he's already a guy that if you throw it up, just like Frisman Jackson said to me, it is 99.9% a catch for George Pickens. So. You utilize that to your advantage. And now you have Allen Robinson, who is as reliable as they come, who looks much younger than 29 years old, who looks like Allen Robinson of the old instead of Allen Robinson of the new or vice versa or however you want to put that. But Allen Robinson looks like a guy who is here to contribute in a massive way for the Pittsburgh Steelers. That's what Kenny Pickett has around him. He has three guys on top of everybody else. We didn't even mention Pat Fryermuth. Who's Pat Fryermuth? And I think everybody knows his standard. Zach Gentry, who might not be a ton, but he's certainly a contributor. Connor Hayward, who has some of the most reliable hands on the team, if not the most reliable hands on the team. Anthony McFarland looks like a stud this summer. Jalen Warren looks like a stud who was just built off of last year. Every piece is there. And then you have your big three at wide receiver. If you're Kenny Pickett right now, you're very excited about the future of the wide receiver position, the future of the offense, just because you could lean on those guys, those big three. And from what training camp has shown us, 
The Steelers wide receiver group didn't even grow, but they got significantly better. 